All right. Uh, which one is this? Oh, right. Uh, this one, uh, today I guess is commentary day. I don't really feel like singing today. Um, but I do feel like talking. Um, and I just wanted to make it, I'll try to make it quick. I know my videos are long when I talk. I'm sorry. I'm long-winded. I'll work on it. But, um, uh, demonizing, uh, people with, uh, different political ideologies for me, I wanted to just kind of discuss that briefly. Uh, I have a problem with it. Um, on both sides, like, um, especially social issues, I noticed there's more demonizing, uh, from both sides. You know, I know the liberal side wants to act like the conservatives are the ones who, uh, are ideologues that demonize, but both sides demonize each other. Like, and, and I know I'm a conservative, but I'm also voting for Barack Obama and, and like, you know, I, I'm a moderate, so I can, I'm, I'm an independent and a centrist and a populist still. So I can see both sides. I'm not clouded by one side or the other, you know. Um, but anyway, my point is, um, what was my point? All right. Oh, okay. So like, for example, uh, pro-lifers demonize pro-choicers. Uh, pro-gay marriagers demonize uh, pro-sanctity of marriagers. I don't know what you call them. Um, pro-contraception teachers. Uh demonize pro abstinent teachers and vice versa you know um both sides seem to demonize each other over social issues and i can see demonizing someone over brutality you know like you approve of people brutalizing each other i can see that being you know an issue of direct right and wrong there's no room for disagreement because it's just i mean how could you not see that as just evil you know, and I can see, uh, you know, some things like, uh, let me see, what else is there besides, like rape? You know, that's brutality still. Any, any physical assault is still a form of brutality. Um, you know, things that are, things that are like that are pretty obvious, you know. But, uh, other, other issues that are more, uh, moral issues, things that are more moral issues, those should not be things that you have to demonize somebody over. You just disagree. Because, no, we're not all going to agree because we're not all coming from the same places in life. You know, I mean, some of us, um, you know, I don't like how pr people who are pro-life assume that anybody who's pro-choice hates babies or hates people. It's kind of like, you know, because then, uh, then my argument has to be, well, what do you do with the baby after it's born? Like, you know, like, why, why, is, why do you care why, and why do you support the death penalty? If you're really all about life, there's a few things that, you know then you're going to be questioned on other aspects of humanity because humanity does not does not live and die in a woman's womb humanity goes past the fetus okay you know there's a lot of things related to humanity including caring about poor people Mitt Romney and um <laughs> you know and then get pro gay marriages like uh, you must if you don't agree with it that must mean you're a homophobe if you don't go to a gay parade or whatever it's like no that's not true i mean the people have a lot of different reasons why they may or may not agree with things like gay marriage okay and and they can go very they could be they could be a long list of reasons not just whatever it is not just that they do, not that they don't like gay people you can let you can love somebody and not agree with the things that they do or agree with uh their their lifestyle or even their sexuality you can still love that person you know you could take a bullet for somebody who you disagree with on everything so you can't just demonize somebody just because they don't agree with you. And, you know, the people with the pro-conception, teaching, teaching kids about contraception and teaching kids about abstinence, I know that's a conf confusing issue because I kind of, you know, I'm, I, I think that kids do need to be taught about abstinence. Um, but I also know that realistically a lot of kids just don't do abstinence. They're just, they're just looking for love in all the wrong places. Their parents aren't there. Or, you know, they're peer pressured or, you know, they're just lonely and desperate or curious and stupid. I mean, I'm not trying to, well, yeah, it, you know, I mean, if you're that young, you really shouldn't be having sex. You really should be waiting until you're emotionally mature enough to deal with the emotional and psychological repercussions of sex because it's not just a physical thing. It's, it's a lot of things. It's, it's emotional, it's mental, it's spiritual. And, you know, people don't have enough respect for sex. Um, but it's just kind of like, you know, there's just so many things that go into social issues that... There are good points and there are not so good points sometimes on both sides. And so you can't, I mean, it's okay to be passionate about what you believe, but when people can't even have a discussion about it that's fair without 
uh, making someone feel like, oh, well, if I bring it up in this group of people, they're going to treat me like I'm the devil. It's like, no, that's not fair. Now, granted, the GOP, they act like the devil sometimes. Like, not the, not, not the old school Republicans. Like, Abe Lincoln, he was, like, the best president of his time. And Barack Obama is the best president of his. But it's just kind of like the GOP, you know, they, for example, they demonize President Obama no matter what he does. He just wakes up in the morning and says, hi, you guys, what's up? It's like, oh, my God, he said hi? <sighs> Who does he think he is? Or, oh, my God, he said, what's up? That is so black. You know, I mean, <laughs> you know, like he could walk on water. They'd be like, who does he think he is, Jesus? You know, that's wrong. Okay, now that's that's extreme demonizing. So I do admit that the GOP demonizes more than anybody, at least the current one. I know that uh, old school Republicans are not like new school Republicans. And truthfully, old school Democrats, from what I hear, they're not they weren't as cool as new school democrats you know what i'm saying so i guess both both parties kind of they they have this like revolving circle where one party is cooler than the other for a certain period of time and then they go back to both parties being mediocre on one side and mediocre on the other and then they go back to one is good and one is evil and then they go back to mediocre on both sides but oh here we go i'm making another long video let me just wrap this up my point is we shouldn't be demonizing each other just because we disagree with each other on different uh topics people should not feel like with a certain group of people, they're not even allowed to talk about their views on something without people putting horns on their heads. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. So I hope that we can work on that because it it's just, it. I don't feel like we are really in a mature society until we can disagree with each other tactfully and respectfully. Okay, thank you. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>